My favorite 10 attractive dress up and sexy men's spring fragrances. Without any further ado, I want to start by House of Amouage. I have here Lyric Man. I call it pink shirt. It is like a pink shirt. I can compare it with that because you need to be confident to wear this fragrance and ladies gonna like it, not men. This is also like that. You need that confidence to wear this one. And also you're gonna get more compliments or mostly compliments from women as it is a rose based fragrance in a most unique way possible I have to say because it is like citrusy and rosy not rose oud saffron it is a different take on rose it is like body lotiony I like that creamy body lotiony safe and appealing feel of this fragrance which smells very clean and we have here roses and signature of amouage is incense very little smoky Incensey at the base. Max Two Spray is enough with this one. Last like 10 to hours plus on me. Projection and siage is loud but creamy. Everybody will definitely smell you in a creamy and soft way. Let's continue by one of the most underrated hidden gems in my collection. It is affordable, at some points cheap and very expensive smelling dress top and attractive fragrance. Dunhill Icon Racing Blue. So immediately reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana the one you know that fragrance is a very sexy woman killer fragrance and it is good for fall and winter I cannot wear that fragrance for spring and summer but with this fragrance I can carry that DNA to spring and summer because it is like citrusy fresher version of Dolce & Gabbana the one imagine Dolce & Gabbana the one with added citruses it is as spicy as that one cardamom is here also prominent we have not that tobacco-y feel Instead, we have a little bit of salt and added coriander. Last only six, seven hours plus in terms of longevity, exactly like Dolce & Gabbana, the one. And projection and CRG is average for first hour, hour and a half. Extremely sexy, lady killer fragrance. Check it out. At number eight, another great hidden gem in my collection. Very underrated fragrance from House of Hermes. Voyage de Hermes, parfum version, the black bottle. There is also white bottle of this one this is EDT I mean parfum version which is deeper and longer lasting I like this one better it is a citrusy green and spicy fragrance it is like one of the best limes I've ever smelled here lime is very natural and mouth-watering then we have cardamom and some sort of leafy vibe at the background and at the base gets like darker because of woody notes and gives to me some sort of black tea-ish vibe it is one of the best performing fragrances from House of Hermes as it is like 40%, 50% oil concentration. Very oily and sticky, greasy type of fragrance. Last only 10 to hours plus in terms of longevity, but projection and CRGs, like most of Hermes fragrances, average, citrusy and air. Number 7, another great dressed up class in a bottle type of fragrance from House of Rochas Mustache or Rochas Mustache. So this is also a rose based fragrance, but also, as much as roses, we can get here citruses, like candy type of citrusy notes are available here. I mean, it is not too fresh, it is sweet, candied, not that much juicy. Rose is here prominent. And at the base, it is like dusty because of amber or benzoin. It is like earthy, dusty, floral and citrusy. It smells very close to YSL Tuxedo, but to my nose, this is a little bit sweeter not as complex and fresher compared to the tuxedo lasts only six seven hours plus in terms of longevity projection and CRGs average soft for first hour hour and a half for next i have a unique fragrance in terms of scent profile and even presentation i'm talking about moschino's toy boy so this is also another rose based fragrance i can say rose pear and spices are prominent here very different type of fragrance pear is very juicy and natural Rose is a bit more prominent compared to the pear and at the base of the fragrance I have some sort of fabricish vibe like suede, cashmere on, it gives me that feel or like plaster, very different type of fragrance, very outstanding and unusual. Lasts pretty long on my skin, I can get like solid 10 hours plus in terms of longevity but projection and siage is not as great as longevity, I can get like max 2 hours. Very soft, airy, inoffensive and transparent type of projection and siash. Now we are at top 5, but if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you think my videos add value to you, please subscribe and support me by your likes, I really appreciate that. Without any further ado, let's continue by House of Mansara, one of those crazy fragrances from this house. Such a great value for the money, lasts very long, projects very good and has a 
different type of scent profile, daring and appealing at the same time, to be honest. But I have received always compliments with this one. I haven't received any bad comments. So it is a very messy fragrance, let's say that. You're gonna get oud, lemon, mint like the name, citruses, like spices, very different type of fragrance and the messy at the dry down gets a bit smoky, woody and soft. At the opening you're gonna get a ton of like artificial mint note, very vixy and refreshing. Uh, lemon is not that much here, way at the background I have to say, and at the dry down is spicy, little sweet and woody, smoky. It has a very dressed up type of scent profile, definitely not for jeans and t-shirts I have to say, you're gonna get better compliments reactions when you're dressed up and wearing this one, especially in the black outfits, lasts on me like 16-18 hours plus in terms of longevity and this is very first batch, non-magnetic cap. And projection and sillage, what should I say? Three, four hours, very loud. Three to four sprays is more than enough with this one. Let's say three sprays, be careful. Next fragrance is from House of Tomford. Woodwood, one of my absolute favorites for fall and spring. It is a bitter, woody, woody type of fragrance with a green, soapy atmosphere and spices like cardamom at the background of the fragrance, a very dressed up bossy and luxury smelling type of fragrance. This is also one of those fragrances like Oud Lemon Mint that gets better compliments, way better reactions when you're dressed up. And again, I suggest you black outfits. I can get like five, six hours max longevity with this one. Uh, there is also Oud Wonder by Fragrance Board Cologne of this one, which lasts longer compared to this one and it smells pretty close to this one. And projection and sillage, I would say it is average. At some point below average after first hour, I can get like hour, hour and a half average to below average type of projection on CH. Let's continue again by House of Mansara. This is one of the most underrated and fairly underrated fragrances from this house and one of my absolute favorites from Mansara. I'm talking about Windwood, which is a dirty, citrusy, leafy type of fragrance, a mature, manly man, citrusy, dressed up type of fragrance. Oh my goodness, has some sort of vibes like your Fahrenheit, but it is totally different fragrance. For example, we have said what was it, which is inspired by Creed Aventus, but it is totally different fragrance. This is also like that. You get inspirations, but you're gonna get also a different juice. I would say it is like citrusy, it is green, leafy, and has some sort of leathery base. That's why it is like dirty citrusy. In terms of performance, I can get like 12 hours plus type of longevity with this one. Projection and sillage is good for first two, three hours and max 3-4 sprays more than enough with this one. Without any further ado, at number 2, I have here Hajibat from House of Nishana. One of my absolute favorite strong citrusy fragrances. It is a citrusy fragrance, but I don't prefer that much for summer as it is earthy, mossy and too strong woody at the dry down, but at the first 30 minutes it is okay uh, for summer, but yeah, this fragrance is all about dry down, like most of fragrances. So I prefer it for fall, spring and like 30% for winter. So about the scent profile, if you haven't smelled this one, has a very sour, juicy, strong citrusy opening, but very fast goes to that earthy, mossy, smoky, and extremely concentrated woody territory. In terms of compliments, this is hands down at top 10 most complimented fragrances in entire my journey. And the last like 12, 14 hours plus on my skin, burns my skin. It is strong and two sprays more than enough with this one. Projection sillage loud three four hours for me number one is again from house of Amouage. I would go with Reflection man 45 There is also regular reflection man, which I prefer better for summer as it is fresher compared to this one This is like deeper slightly darker and more resiny version of that fragrance. So here is floral powdery resiny dark and earthy has some sort of rooty earthy vibe to it one of the most luxurious smelling fragrances in the entire universe has a very wealthy rich and successful luxury feel to it i really enjoyed that dressed up and luxury feel of this fragrance immediately boosts my confidence i can say like 12 hours 14 hours plus in terms of longevity but projection and sillage is milder compared to the regular reflection man you're gonna get like two hours max three hours somehow average, below average, soft and very airy, dusty type of projection and sillage. Take care guys.